electric gear reveals freezing temperature. It can easily and the biology behind the system utilized by the flytrap to capture its prey. This new discovery. Pitcher plants stand waiting for small life forms to fall into their traps. Within the realm of carnivorous plants, they are without a doubt the largest and most colorful species. Pitcher plants aren't the only plants that feed on small animals. There are others that also grow in swamps and bogs like this one. Although not as impressive in size, the form and color of these little plants makes them special. But perhaps most impressive is the system utilized by these plants to capture their prey. They actually kill their prey before digesting them. These plants are known as sundews, and this species is called Drosera rotundifolia, the round leaf sundew. One of the principal aspects of these plants is that the leaves are covered in tentacles, which have these shiny, colorful glands that produce this attractive and sticky nectar. It is an elixir that lures innocent insects directly to their death. Pitcher plants, sundews, and other carnivorous plant species all use different systems to capture their prey. Pitchers full of digestive juices, sticky tentacles, and other deadly traps all have one thing in common. They are all modified leaves. But the most dramatic system for capturing small animals, and the most impressive modification that can be seen in the entire carnivorous plant world, belong to one plant. It grows here in only one small area in the Carolinas in the southeastern part of the United States. This plant is the Venus flytrap. Ellis and Curtis dedicated themselves to long periods of study in order to understand the mechanics and the biology behind the system utilized by the flytrap to capture its prey. This new discovery made a huge impact on the scientific community such that Linnaeus called this plant Miraculum Naturae, the miracle of the natural world. And if you want to know why, just watch this. Numerous types of prey have fallen victim to the jaws of the flytrap, the most common being spiders, ants, and crickets. But certainly it depends on if the size of the insect is appropriate for these small traps. I believe this one is a little too big. 